Hey, how you doing, preppers? Um, I don't know if you call this a video response. Maybe I'll maybe I'll post it as a video response. To uh, you know, I just did the uh, the video response to East Coast preppers vid on, um, but it's uh, you know crap load of subscribers. It was 3,500. I'll bet he's over that now. <laughs> I bet it didn't take the entire afternoon to get there. But uh, he just put out another video just this afternoon about uh, do you have what it takes to survive? And um, that, is, that is a worthwhile question. Are, are you literally willing to end somebody's life to save your own? Are you ready to do it? I, don't, I just don't think so. I don't think I am. Um, I'm a good shot. I could probably put a bullet and, you know, shoot the toilet paper chunks off a of gnat's ass, but, uh, well, with my SKS anyway. Um, I'm really good with that gun, by the way. Um, I don't know who it was. Oh, one, one of the granddads on the prepper community here uh, once made the comment that I fear somebody with one gun far more than I fear a man with a shitload of guns. Because the man with the one gun goes out and he shoots it all the time. Wait, right, that said, yep, I'm pretty good with the, with the one gun really that I've got. Um, well, with the main battle rifle that I've got. I'm, I am good with it. Um, but could, could I pull the trigger on a man? Or for that sake, and just phew, take yourself out of the box and think about it for a second. What if it's a woman? What if it's a kid breaking into your house? Would you be willing to pull the trigger? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, almost brought to the point of tears just thinking about it. And, uh... No, I don't, I don't think I am. I just don't think I am. But, um, I don't yet have children. So what am I protecting? Just protecting me. Um, I don't know if, I, if, if, if a mother and her, and her two kids were trying to break into my house, um, because, you know, there was no father or something, and there was nobody there um, to provide for that. Um, I might scare them a little bit by shooting around them, but uh, probably bring them into the house, and, and I just make them my family. I, I don't know. Um, family I've got is um, it's my parents. We're both still alive, by the way, and, and not too far from here. And... Um, <laughs> We've joked for years that my mama is uh, the closet Mormon because she she's always stockpiled food, always, and uh, I think it has a lot to do with growing up poor in Central Texas, and she did. Um, not during the Depression though, I got to tell you, she's still a stockpiler. She's a bit of a hoarder. Um, like I said earlier, I, I don't hoard anything but beer cans and, and ammo, and, and I'm starting to hoard food. So, anyway, <laughs> musical instruments. I don't think I've ever sold a musical instrument in my life. <laughs> but, no, I haven't. I traded one off uh, for one that was cooler, in my opinion. I had a uh, Les Paul Jr electric and the damn thing could not hold <laughs> it just could not hold um you know it, it, i had two an e and you know, two days or two minutes later it, it'd be a d and i'd tighten it back up again and then and then it would it would go to it would, it would climb back up and 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 you go from from a d to an e to an f or to a g it would just the the thing would just it would you couldn't 
control it. It was it was terrible. It was probably the worst instrument I've ever owned. But I traded it to a guy that had a, uh, a Fender acoustic, steel string acoustic, and um, yeah, it's not the greatest guitar in the world, uh, but it is American made. <laughs> four times, minimum four times the guitar is the other. And I still feel bad about that. So, back to the point. I feel bad about that trade. And I'm arming myself to protect me from people who I would like to protect in most cases. And uh, that's, that's, uh, that's an awful lot to think about. <laughs> That's just kind of a huge counter issue to to what I've what I'm thinking I'm doing, and uh, so I'm gonna beef up my food supplies. And uh, if people are breaking into my house that are, that are you know what, women and children, <laughs> they will be allowed in absolutely, even if it reduces my food supply by months years I, I just I just don't care because um, why, why are we even doing this you know if things break down to the point where um, you know it's just me and uh, shit my sister and her four kids are on the other side of the country um, in Virginia <laughs> and their dad's a marine <laughs> retired and still quite young um, far more of the killing machine than I could possibly be. I know it. That man scares me. <laughs> From what he's capable of. Not what I think he would do. Um, I don't feel fear when I'm at his house <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. I just know that, that if we fought, yeah, he'd kick my ass. And I wrestled through high school. I played rugby when I was uh, in college earlier as a kid. Now, I'm no longer a kid. Um, I went to a uh, uh, Krav Maga thing, right? And, uh, and the guy kind of picked me out because I was one of the newbies. And, uh, you know, I was there for, for maybe a week before, you know, this happened. And, and <laughs> this Krav Maga guy, he, um, <laughs> he, he was going to show the class something. And uh, he tried it on me and... Fuck, I sprawled on him and I tied him up in a little knot and I had him on the ground and <laughs> I just I just looked at him and I was like, man, you got nothing to teach me. <laughs> and maybe he did. Maybe I gave up on him too soon, but you know, <laughs> I took his ass down and, and I tied him up in a little knot and from what I understand that the whole thing folded just, you know, a couple weeks later. So maybe he wasn't the best of the program trainers, but um you know, and that's that is that's the the Israeli martial arts thing, and it's supposedly just fantastic. But you know, it looked to me like it was all based on wrestling, and apparently I was a better wrestler than he was. And he tried something on me, and I knew how to counter it, and I took his ass down. But that's not killing. That's not shooting a man. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'd hesitate if a jackass was coming through the window. I don't think I'd hesitate if they were breaking down the door. I know I wouldn't hesitate if they were breaking down the door. Um, literally. Coming through. But, uh, you know, at the same time, I, I, w I will not fire on our military. So, you know, if the, if the military is put against us, um, they, they, they have more guns than I do, and, and they're better guns. Uh, they're better trained. They're just... Um, I will admonish them verbally as I lay down my weapon as to how they are they're they're being less than less than American and um, and how they're empowering the new Nazis. So you know, it, we take a look, see what happens. Um, I would have a lot of trouble shooting somebody. I would. I would have a, a, a shitload of trouble unless I am literally physically taking care of other people 
where where it's where it's beyond my own well-being. Um, Killing somebody is just not something that uh, me. Um, I know I cuss a bit, and I, and I know I drink a lot, and uh, I'm a Christian. I am, and I would have a lot of trouble doing it. I just would. I would have a god awful lot of trouble doing it. Am I mentally prepared to do it? I'm not sure I am. Something I'm going to have to think about. Once again, thank you, East Coast Prepper, for giving me a whole new fucking nightmare. <laughs> a whole, thank you, it's your fault. <laughs> a whole new bunch of crap that I got to deal with. All right. Well, anyway, I don't know if all you're going to be up at night thinking about this or if, uh, you know, I'm just a big fucking softy or not, but. Um, Anyway, God bless. Peace.